A lot of people think we don't produce them anymore. And actually, since 1976, there have been nine printings of the two. It really is an art that we do here. You know, th this note is absolutely beautiful, and particularly on the back of the note. Look at all of the intaglio printing that's on the back. And, you know, intaglio printing is the staple to American currency. Intaglio printing is very deep, fine lined engraving and it's where the ink actually recesses into the fine line engraving and then the engraved image is then pushed onto the paper and hence the, the beautiful engraving and printing that we have here on this sheet. There's a lot more intaglio printing on the twos than on the other denominations and you know the employees here are very proud of what they do. We're in the plate making and engraving area. Plate making is actually where we produce plates that are used in production and all the process that occurs with those plates until they're ready to go out on the production press and be utilized. The engravers who actually engrave the plates, they put the location of the plate numbers on the back and the front of the sheet. And there's something really special about these twos. We can tell that these twos are produced here in Fort Worth because of the small FW that is on the notes. And that's how we tell that these notes are produced in Fort Worth, Texas. Yeah, so we're, we're checking out all the intaglio details on this plate. This is a beautifully engraved $2 plate that will be utilized in the intaglio printing process. With the twos, we start off with blank paper. The paper is actually made of 75% cotton, 25% linen. This press runs at 10,000 sheets per hour, 32 subject sheets, and this is all back printing. The backs are done first because they have a significant amount of intaglio engraving and then it dries for 72 hours. Because these sheets have so much ink on them, when they dry, they dry like bricks. In order to break the sheets apart so they can be face printed, we're actually going to blow air in between the, the load and break the sheets apart so they can individually be fed into the press. Then we go to face printing. And that takes another 72 hours to dry. Then it's broken up into two 16 subject sheets. And then it goes to letterpress printing, which is known as currency overprinting. This is where you have your Federal Reserve seal, Treasury seal, and your serial numbers are printed onto the note. Just with the amount of art that goes into this note as it was designed, the two is the tradition. It kind of goes back to the old style of currency. People love the intaglio print.